Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. It may surprise you, but I haven't done a whole video of new purchases in two months. Uh, I was actually trying to put it off a little bit, uh, purchasing new stuff to dig into my backlog a little bit. Made a little bit of headway, but this is the season. My flea market, uh, I have been killing it at the flea market, as you're going to see. And then today was the Massapequa Record and CD show that I go to and did pretty good there as well. So without further ado, let me show you my haul video. Oh, this is from their record show, that little uh, thing there. Uh, let me show you a haul video from some of my recent purchases. If you're new to my channel, I try to tell you what I paid because uh, I kind of started this thing. I call it the golden age of buying used CDs. And it is, if you get out there, and depending on where you live, if you hit flea markets, or estate sales, or yard sales, or used record stores, or thrift shops, man, they are giving CDs away for next to nothing. And I show it to you all the time. So uh, let me show you what I've been lucking into, because uh, I get out there. Now, at the flea market, I bought one today, and I bought two of them about two weeks ago from the same person. There's been a person selling you CDs, but they've had a bunch of box sets, and I bought some really cool box sets. I think you'll agree. So let's start with that. Um, I bought this box set. This is Rick Nelson Legacy. This is a four CD box set. Now, I like Rick Nelson. I only have like one of his greatest hits. And it comes with a catalog thing here, and it's got a beautiful book, beautiful book, and four discs. This thing is mint. I don't think it's ever been touched. And for this four CD box set, no exaggeration, they were selling the box sets for three dollars. I paid three bucks for this four CD box set of Rick Nelson. Let's stick that right there, Rick. Now, they also had this one. I never saw this one before. This is the Everly Brothers. It's called Heartaches and Harmonies. This is also four discs. And this is also Rhino, you know, the premier reissue label. There's the four discs so you can see it. And again, we're going to open that up. And it's got a really nice booklet. I don't think this thing's ever been cracked open. The binding is like brand new. And then you got the four discs like that. And let's put it like that. We'll put that back. And you guessed it. This box was three bucks. I bought these two boxes about two weeks ago. I went back today and she was there. I had a couple of other box sets, including this one. She had this one and she had three different box sets of the doo-wop. Uh, I'm not that much into, into doo-wop, and three of those was just a gargantuan amount of music. But this looked really cool. This is also from Rhino, Rock, Rhythm, and Doo-Wop, the greatest songs from early rock and roll, and over 60 tracks. And when I looked at the tracks, this was right up my alley. I actually love a lot of this old 50s music, and you can see the track listing. Digitally remastered from Rhino. And, you know, I'm a fan, actually, believe it or not, of Shanana. So this is actually really cool to have the original versions digitally remastered on these three CDs in this beautiful book. I'm really excited about getting this because I, I like old 50s sometimes. It, it holds up pretty well. And here's the book. Same situation. I don't think this book has ever been cracked. I mean, and here's the discs looking beautiful. Four, oh no, this one's three CDs. My apologies. Three CDs from the beginning of rock and roll, and you guessed it, three bucks. So I paid nine dollars, two different visits to the flea market for those box sets right there. Oh, David, that was close. All right, let's keep going. Now, at the flea market, there is a guy there every once in a while who sells bootleg CDs. If you follow my channel, I have bought a ton of bootleg CDs from this guy. He also mixes in regular CDs, but it's largely bootlegs. He sells the CDs for a dollar a piece. If you're a fan of bootlegs like me, bootleg CDs 
could oftentimes still go for a pretty penny at the local record stores that I go to. But these are a buck a piece, and I will show you some of the ones that I got that I thought were pretty cool. Uh, Van Morrison, this one's called Ray Vaughn. These are all silver. That means, you know, they are official pressed bootlegs, not just burned. And this is from his 1987 Glastonbury appearance. I picked this up because this is uh, a time period of Van Morrison that I really love. Uh, cleaning windows, sense of wonder, beautiful vision. That whole time period, to me, is prime Van Morrison. So uh, I'm excited about having that live album. In addition, another bootleg I got from there is a band Ash. Not Wishbone Ash. This is the band Ash. And this is from Dusseldorf 2001. This is the lineup of Ash that I loved with Charlotte Hatherley in there. And this is the set list. And I'm excited about having an Ash bootleg of a concert. I don't see, especially in America, I don't find Ash bootlegs too often. So that was a nice find. In addition, I got this one. This is cool. Uh, my favorite... I love the Velvet Underground. The four albums are all great. But the one that I think I go to the most is probably the last one, Loaded. And Fish, the band Fish, uh, would perform, you know, classic albums. Um, you know, I think it was on their Halloween shows for a while. And they did Exile on Main Street. They did the Talking Heads album. But I saw this one called Fish Loaded. And this is Fish doing, in its entirety, the Velvet Underground album, Loaded. So I like Fish. Love the Velvet Underground, and I thought this would be really cool to have. And uh, this was also a dollar, if you keep in track. So uh, some bootleg CDs right there that were cool. Now, I have been really getting into Chris Rhea, and some of you folks have been helping me, suggesting. Uh, so this I found at a record store. This was in Looney Tunes a while back, and another Chris Rhea album called King of the Beach. And as you could see, this was in the 99 cent bin. So I picked this one up and haven't heard this yet, but I'm on a roll with him. I'm really, really enjoying his music. Uh, even my wife is, which is kind of cool. Speaking of 99 cent bins, when I did my status quo video, you were all like, you got to get Ma Kelly's greasy spoon, Alan. You don't have it. And I was like, I'm going to get it. Well, I got it. And here it is, and I found it in a 99 cent bin at Looney Tunes, and uh, it's got that great cover, man. Look, look at that artwork. That's great. So 99 cents, I found Mark Kelly's Greasy Spoon from Status Quo to continue growing it with that collection. And if it wasn't enough Chris Rear, I got another Chris Rear album, and this one is the Japanese import of it. It actually comes with the OB strip. And this is an album that I never heard of called Tennis. And it looks like that. And this was a Japanese import of it. And uh, it looks like that. And this was also... No, this one was $1.99 at Looney Tunes. So $1.99 for that Chris Rear album. But it was actually less because it had a sale, 25% off. So two Chris Rear albums, the Mark Kelly's Greasy Spoon. And then for all of you Queen fanatics, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I picked up this thing called Live Magic. And it says $2.99. Um, but I didn't pay $2.99. I paid a dollar. So uh, great set list, right? So we will see... How this one works out. Queen, Live Magic, and that was in the 99 cent bin as well. Now, let's keep going. We got more CDs. These are the ones that I bought today. Okay. I recently did a whole thing on the Stones Voodoo Lounge. Uh, this I got at the record show today, and this is a two CD bootleg called I Can't Get Next to You. This was the opening night silver beautiful packaging and this was a two cd of the opening night of the voodoo lounge tour and i just want to show you from rfk stadium i remember the show so compare it to today man i told you the stones were a really active band back then really pushing their new albums 27 songs they did 
Look at what they played. Talk about different Sutlers. Not Fade Away, Undercover to Night, Live With Me, You Didn't Hear Much. You Got Me Rockin', brand new from the new album. Rocks Off, they never were playing. Sparks Will Fly from the new album. Shattered, they don't play that all the time. Uh, played Beast of Burden, they don't play that all the time. Memory of Motel, Out of Tears from the new album. Hot Stuff, never hear that. Even All Down the Line's not really a regular. Cover of I Can't Get Next to You. Brand new car, that was from the new album. The Worst, that's from the new album. Love is Strong, that was from the new album. Monkey Man, they didn't play that very often. I Go Wild, that was from the new album. And then they ended with five of your classics. This is a set list, folks. And that's what the Stones are doing on the Voodoo Lounge Tour. Um, I paid $5 for that double uh, bootleg uh, album. Today at the record show, I'm a fan of Bebop Deluxe, but I never got into Bill Nelson's solo. And I found this one, Bill Nelson's Red Noise, Sound on Sound. Let me know if it's any good, what you think of it. I bought it because it was only a dollar. That was today at the Massapequa record show. Um, what else did I get from the Massapequa record show? I bought this one. This was only a dollar. This was... Remastered, a uh, legendary album from Aretha Franklin. I never loved the man the way I love you. And this was on Rhino with a bunch of bonus tracks. A lot of people say this is her best album and the best one of the best soul albums ever made. And I'm glad to have that. That was a dollar. Uh, I'm a big fan of Charlie Daniels. Um, I never saw this before. I have the vinyl. Uh, it's one of his latter day albums that when he was still Charlie Daniels band really uh, it's an album called Windows and I have the vinyl I never saw this on CD I was absolutely shocked and it's on Epic Legacy so they remastered it I take it and put it out and this one I paid two dollars it has a cutout hole right there but two bucks for this this is the one that's got if you know Charlie Daniels this is the one that's got uh, still in Saigon so uh, that's a cool find um, and then, um, what else did I get? Well, I picked up a U2 CD single. I love U2 CD singles. They do really cool things on them, B-sides that are nowhere else. And this is Sweetest Thing, and this was a dollar, and this has a couple of live tracks from Boston from when they first started out in 1981. So, uh, kind of cool to have. And... I hope Steve Harold is watching because I got this for you. Not really. Uh, I went to Looney Tunes and they had a good sale. So I bought uh, Taylor Swift's 1989, the Taylor's version. It was $7.99. I don't usually spend that kind of money, but it was 25% off. So it wasn't too bad. And this thing's fully loaded. And I actually listened to it, Steve. And it's not half bad. It's a bit poppy for my taste, but uh, it wasn't bad. I got two other ones that I want to show you. Um, I got this thing, uh, $5.99, 25% off. This is a band called Nightwish. I've heard a lot about them. I'm a fan of Within Temptation, uh, kind of symphonic metal band. And uh, Nightwish, is, I believe, is kind of the same thing, but maybe a little bit more metalish. I don't know if I'm going to like them. It was $5.99, but 25% off. But I see they do a, a cover of High Hopes, the, tink, the Pink Floyd pl classic uh, from Division Bell. It really is like the... Uh, title track to a certain extent so uh i'm looking forward to hear that and we'll see if it's any good and what else can i show you i also got this today i have no idea why you ever do that I'm, i looked at it i'm like you know what i'm gonna try it there's a band called bauhaus and i don't have anything by them i know of them i think is, is that peter murphy is that his name correct me if i'm wrong i don't know but this is a thing called the BBC Sessions. Uh, it's a CD. I only bought it because I don't think I'll ever see it again in the wild. And I paid a dollar. So we'll see if it's uh, any good. If it's not, I'll dump it. And last but not least, this was a really cool find. You ever go shopping and you get something before it was even released? So I'm a really, really big fan of Jason Isbell. I've mentioned that. I've almost all of his albums pretty much all of his albums and i saw this and i'm like i think i have that it's called live at the ryman but i don't because apparently this is a new one called live from the Ry ryman volume two 
So this is a double CD. I don't think this thing's even out yet. It says 2024. So this must be like a review copy or something, but I got it for 3 99 and it's a double CD, and this thing's not even available yet. So I just was in the right place at the right time for this one, and I'm really psyched about that because that is something I just love him, man, and I had no idea about this album. So I'm really looking forward to that. He's, he's terrific. One last thing, musically, and then I'll show you two other things after that. I bought this for the hell of it because I just thought the cover... Somebody had mentioned to me that uh, recently they only buy album covers, albums based on the covers, and I'm like, well, that's kind of interesting, right? I mean, it's definitely an idea, and certainly it's artwork. And this is... I, I remember hearing about this band called the L.A. Jets, and I think her name was Karen... Yeah, Karen Lawrence. I don't know much about them, but I definitely remember reading it. And I was like, I got to get this just for the album cover, and maybe they're good. But I definitely remember hearing about them. And this is a not-for-sale promo. It was RCA 1976, it looks like. So if you know anything about Karen Lawrence and L.A. Jets, let me know. But I bought it because the cover was so damn good, and it was only a dollar. So, yeah, I bought a lot of stuff this month in September, but it didn't cost anything, really, except for, you know, the Taylor Swift and the Nightwish. Wow, five ninety nine, seventy nine, dollars $7.99 with 25% off. This is the greatest time to be buying CDs if you can get out there to the right places. Um, and I show it over and over again. The last two things I'm going to show you was from today, and I bought two sealed DVDs. If you know my channel, I'm a big fan of the Knack. I think they were absolutely great at what they did. One of the best power pop bands ever. But they were ter terrific musicians and great songs. And I found these two DVDs sealed. Uh, Getting the Knack, celebrating the 25th anniversary. And this is a documentary. And I know a lot about the Knack. I won't get into it right now. But they were really well respected in Los Angeles. Springsteen played with them. Tom Petty used to play with them. Everybody wanted to play with them. Bruce Gallery was a drummer. was an amazing drummer. And then this is a latter-day concert, I guess, the Knack on stage at the World Cafe. First live concert DVD. And some of the latter stuff, which is pretty good. Uh, they're a really good band. Uh, terrible what happened to uh, Doug Figer. Sad. But... Uh, and a sad story, but this should be really interesting. I got both of these DVDs sealed, and it was like five bucks, I think. So, uh, pretty damn good, if I say so myself, my uh, September haul. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, as always, stay safe, stay healthy. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. Let me know if you know anything about any of these things. Um, but, man... So much for digging out of my backlog, I just keep adding on to it. But how do I pass up this stuff? And I'm excited about hearing that status quo, too. Anyway, thanks so much. Hit subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time on The Alan Rosenberg Show. And I'm going to go have some Marino's Ices right now.